Good morning, evening, afternoon, and night, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another adventure with Sergeant Bezek as we continue our journey with Dark Deity last time. This guy on the far right, I can't remember his name, is it Arimu? Uh, he came with us to a temple that is like, hey, this sounds like a temple that I know of. We go there, only for the lady next to him to be defending off a horde of zombies. What the frick is with all these zombies everywhere? This is not a Resident Evil game, I do believe. And even then, what? There's no virus or nothing. What's going on with all the zombies? Anyways, now we got to figure out what to do next. They've been pushed back. We've secured the base. And Benji! Oh, please be funny, Benji. We know you. What in oblivion is that? <gasps> Sounds like thunder. Impossible. There's not a cloud in the sky. But a storm comes never the uh, nonetheless. What you're hearing are the drums of war. I've never seen a force so large marching out of an oasis. Are Amoran troops? Where are they headed? Take heart. North, to the border at Swift Harbor, no doubt, and we must follow. Are you mad? You couldn't possibly take on a force that size. I don't expect they will go unopposed by your Delian uh, compatriots, but it's not the army we're after. We need to get to Swift Harbor, Harbor as soon as possible. Mm. Why Swift Harbor? Wouldn't it be best to travel by road? I took the liberty this morning of sharing all that you've told me with Vesta. She has a contact who may be able to help. In Swift Harbor? No, in Varroa. All the way across the Barrel Sea? The war will have ended long before we return. Who is this contact, anyway? All you need to know is that they can help. <sighs> I should explain. Stop. Vesta. This place still stands because of them. It's only right that they know what it is. And besides, from everything you shared, it's clear to me they seek the aspects in goodwill. Hmm. As you wish. It's true I'm a priestess of Thane, but in this temple I serve another purpose. I am a member of the Order of the Eternals. Order of the Eternals? I've never heard of that before. That's how we prefer it. We are charged with the keeping and protection of the eternal aspects, some of which you have discovered and learned to use. A moment, please. I assure you, we've only ever sought to study and protect them. And it's clear now that... Uh, now... Blah, blah, blah. And it's clearer now than ever that we aren't the only ones to have taken such an interest. The Order has been made aware of more sinister activities surrounding the aspects. Not unlike the attack last night. But why attack this temple? In this place, I am the guardian of a small trove of aspects. The necromancers sought them, no doubt. Now I trust they would be safer in your hands. <laughs> Storage received a trove of eternal aspects. If you mean to entrust us with these aspects, you have my word that we will guard them with our lives and put them to good use. I'm certain you would. But first, I must ask that you help me fare them to Var Var Varroa. The Order mu is much more powerful there, and my superiors will want to know what you've learned. I'm sure he can protect both you and the Aspects while we get to the truth of the matter. Sara, Samara, what do you think? We must. We don't have any other leads. The Order knows more, they're best suited to help. Disgraceful. I think this is a mistake. If there was ever any question about our desertion, booking passage across the sea would remove all doubt. He stopped questioning that the moment we walked away from Red Hill. Why fight it? I understand the weight of this choice, but you must decide quickly. It would be best to get to Swift Harbor before things get ugly. If what you say is true about the Order, then it's hardly a decision. We will follow your lead. Good job, Irving, for deciding for everyone. Good job. Oh, look at all that money. 5,000? Yes! Ooh! Okay. I must admit, I wasn't sure I'd see you again. You did tell me to return if anything went awry. I suppose I just didn't expect the mighty Arima to need my help. 
fair on those. I needed it before. <sighs> yes, and now it seems I need yours. Mm. Fate settles all mortal debts. A wise woman once told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Not wise enough. This business with the aspects. I wish I had more to tell you than I have told the others. There's no need to. You're serving your order faithfully. That's what matters. Perhaps. And what about you? Mm. Well, what about me? Why are you here? With the group, I mean. Instead of back in your den. Tired of competition? Oh, I'm not sure I'd ever say that. Just looking for something new. Well, whatever you seek, I pray you'll find it. Do you really? <sighs> Every morning and night, ever since he first left the temple, in fact. Dear Lord, is she love struck with this man. I mean, look at that six pack ab underneath the champion's belt he's got. Can't blame the lady. Thank you, Vesta. I look forward to the day the gods give their answer. Perhaps they already have. I am told they do that. From time to time. Ah, yes. Did you even fight? No, yeah, you did fight in the last one. I hope you don't mind me saying so, Arima. But getting to fight with you is a bit surreal. <laughs> Seems I have no shortage of admirers in this company. Not at all. I didn't grow up in Oasis, but everyone from the old men to the street urchins told stories about your fights. Hmm. Where did you grow up? Uh, Concordio. Ah, uh, I've never been. Then again, I hardly traveled at all before my exile. Let me tell you, you're not missing much. Unless you're a taste for massive supply caravans, or watching beggars scrape, uh, scrap in the dust for a loaf of bread. Hmm. I wouldn't say I fall into those categories. Then Oasis was a much better choice. Was that always your dream as a child? To move to the capital? As soon as I learned what my father did, yes. He was a fighter too? Indeed. I think that's what planted the desire to compete within me at a young age. I'd believe it. Honestly, I think that's why stories about you always fascinated us as kids. Your childhood dream wasn't just something you talked about, you actually lived it! For a time. <sighs> I guess. But that's always true, isn't it? What happened to you wasn't fair. I think even those who orchestrated it knew that. But the end always comes sooner or later. Things change. So it does, and now we have before us a new beginning. Exactly! And that's pretty exciting! Yes, it is. Alright. See ya! Really? You spent, like, no time with him! So I don't know how they determine when the bonds go up or not. So I hear you were part of some super secret task force for the Armorians. Uh -huh. Do you now? wonder how accurate the source you're listening to are. Well, I'm an old hand at gathering information. I think they're rather reliable. Interesting. Some sort of spy? You look Delian. Mm. You could say that. I spent years manipulating people to make it so we all got what we wanted. Lots of coin in it. I can imagine. Back with my team, we valued our informants greatly. It's an underappreciated art, getting information out of people that they don't want you to have. I couldn't agree more. It's refreshing to meet someone that understands the merits of my profession. It's not as easy as it looks. Well... I can imagine you make it look pretty easy. <laughs> well, 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 look at you go. <laughs> that was pretty bad, huh? Atrocious, but I'll give you an A for effort. <sighs> Just what I wanted, the consolation prize. Nobody wants the consolation prize. Burn it. Burn the consolation prize. It's the gold or nothing. No, uh, no, I could get with the silver, but once you get past bronze, just no. No. Don't, don't do that. Well, what is it that you do want? I can't imagine your plans landed you in the ranks of a double deserting group of degenerates. Ah! I can't say they did. What a mouthful, but you're not wrong. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what I was happy... I don't know that I was happy where I was, truly, but who knows where we're headed now. Just alone for the ride, huh? From what I gather, you spent a long time floating along someone else's current. 
You don't strike me as the kind not to set your own pace. Hold on. You know, once upon a time I wasn't. Maybe one day I'll get back there. Though life is uh, life as a big fish in a small pond was bad. I just didn't stop to think about how big the other ponds get. Pretty damn big as it turns <laughs> out. You must be used to that, though, as a spy yourself. Oh, I was a small town barmaid. Every time I think I have this group figured out, it throws me for a loop. What is a small town barmaid doing in the most wanted military group on the continent? Sitting around talking to people who were supposed to be my enemies, I guess. <laughs> that was great! The last bit where she just got him! <laughs> oh, Marikaius. You are a kind man, Caius. <laughs> I appreciate that. Though I do wonder what made you break your holy silence to say it. I am no longer bound by my vow of silence. Yeah. I am no longer bound by my vow of silence. Huh? Could have fooled me. Kitty! But anyway, what inspired you to risk inflating my eagle? At Red Hill, what you did for those street urchins after the battle, sharing your rations, that was a selfless act. Wait, you've been following this guy since Red Hill? Lady, we met you in the middle of the desert! Well... Ah, right. To be honest, I was hoping no one saw that. I don't understand. Why? I know many would have done the same, hoping that someone would notice. Well, I didn't want any of you to think I was ungrateful for the provisions you've shared. I'm really not. It's more that I know where my next meal is coming from, and they don't. They're just kids. I know what that's like. You have stood in their place yourself? <sighs> I have. I'm not proud of it, but if it weren't for unreasonably kind strangers, I don't know if I'd be here right now. Certainly not the way I am. That's nothing to be ashamed of. We are all entirely dependent upon one another. There are merely those who admit this and those who don't. Yeah, I believe that. Good. Then we are the same mind. Looks like we are. Alright. Elias! Holy crap, you're talking with all the ladies, Elias! And I think, oh yeah, you fainted the last one. I do apologize for that one, Elias. Fancy seeing you up this late. Some heavy reading you've got there? <sighs> heavy reading is the only kind I get to do, I'm afraid. We've been on a tier trying to research the eternal aspects for months. I'm with you. I found that the best way to understand something is sometimes to teach it to someone else. Yes! Elias! That's, that is so true. People do not understand how much that helps. Uh, I do a lot of work with my hands, and after a while, you start to just do things naturally without thinking, just automatically. And when you then go to try to teach someone what it is you're doing, and how you're doing it, what sort of things you're looking for, or feeling for, and they don't have the experience necessary to pick up on it, while you're just picking up intuitively, Oh, trying to figure all that out. And it could, doesn't have to be with something with your hands. It could be math. It could be any of that stuff. Uh, trying to teach it to someone and have to go through step by step what the processes are you're doing makes it so you're studying or your ability to learn the subject that much better. Highly recommend trying to do that. You're only saying that, so I'll tell you what I'm researching. Perhaps. Even if that were the case, I'm sure you know the point is still valid. I am a good student. Are you sure? That remains to be seen. Where have you studied? <sighs> Many places. More places than I would have liked to, in fact. I'm following. And what was it that you've studied? Life, the world, magic, failure. Hmm. Failure. Curious word to mention that you've studied. Careful. If you haven't studied failure, one of two things is true. You either haven't pushed hard enough, or you weren't paying attention when you did. Exactly. Hmm. My mother used to say that when Sara and I were young. <laughs> used to? She's still very much around, is she not? Oh, she's around. She just isn't lecturing us anymore. What would she have to lecture about? 
<laughs> Serenity Rohan could lecture anyone about anything. More than could, she'd love to. Having seen you and Sara in action, I suspect those are lectures I'd be lucky to partake in. Are you sure? You say that now. Perhaps. So, is that a no on the aspects? That is a no on the aspects. Maybe next time. Okay, alright, keeping it all close to the chest. Makes sense, you don't really know Elias too well. Elias! Aldel of Alden tells me he's been asking about some of your abilities. I hope he isn't bothering you. Oh, not at all. His curiosity is quite refreshing, actually. <sighs> Try to explain to him that being an adept isn't like being a mage, but that doesn't seem to have done any good. He does seem to be interested in learning these abilities himself. Luckily, there are some effects which can be reproduced with more traditional magic. Though, in all honesty, I'm probably not the best mentor to show how. Elias! We just went through this with Samara that trying to teach someone can help you learn your own thing. Don't you be backtracking now, buddy. I got my eyes on you. Hmm. Let me guess. You've told him that. And it hasn't deterred him one bit. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'll talk to him. Why? Hold on. Really, Marin, there's no need. I had, or, well, I have a younger sibling myself. I'm accustomed to it, for the most part. Really? Do you have a little brother? I've never heard you talk about him. A sister, actually. Oh, sorry. That's quite all right. Her name is Rena. Huh? Rena, it's a pretty name. What's she like? She is kind. To a fault, even. Warm, generous, thoughtful, curious. She loves rum cakes. One bite takes her to the astral plane and back six times over. <laughs> Sounds like Rena and I would get along. <laughs> I imagine you would. Maybe I'll get to meet her someday. Do you think she'd ever come to visit? She shouldn't, but she must and might try. She wouldn't have any trouble leaving and returning, would she? She has a bad leg, you see. I used to help her get around, but her condition only worsened just before I left. I doubt she'd have much success making it across the border. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Elias. My father always talked about getting a pony for her. She always wanted one anyway, before her leg went out. Hopefully, he's gone and done that now. She sounds so sweet, Elias. I'll go bring her a pony just to meet her. That's kind of you, Mary. I'm sure it's a hardship to you in many ways, but you're lucky you weren't separated from your brother, especially given the circumstances. Family should stay together, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. I'm definitely lucky to have Alden with me. I need to do a better job of remembering that. <laughs> I've been there myself. Easy to say, but difficult to do, I'll admit. <sighs> Tell me about it. Okay. Seriously, you spent no time near Samara throughout the whole thing. You spent the whole time around Irving, but not him, it's Samara who's on the other side of the map. I do not understand how they, it's decides. So it's definitely, or probably not the same as in the uh, like Fire Emblem ones, where these things go up as you have these characters fight side by side. There has to be a different aspect to it, and I don't know what it is. Do you guys know? If you guys either know it, or you figured it out, let me know in the comment section below. Finally, fair to say we're in over our heads? No more than usual. True enough. <laughs> I'm still not sure how you plan to explain this to our family, but it keeps things exciting, I suppose. I'd prefer a little less excitement and a few more answers myself. That'll come, in time, and after some more excitement. <sighs> That's what I'm worried about. Are you sure? Really? What for? Take a look around. Irving, Elias, Bianca, they trust us now. At least more than they did. Even Lincoln's starting to come around. And they're certainly capable. I'm not sure if any of us are capable enough. We don't even know what we're up against. You never know until you're actually in the thick of it. Remember that botany study you forgot about until the day our tutor came to visit? Unbelievable. Of course I remember. Even with everything else in my mind, I still have nightmares about it. <laughs> Incredible. 
I don't think the word you said about that plan was true, but you spoke with such confidence that he's still putting his sleeves in his tea as a sleep remedy. I was right about the blossoms. They're pink. I checked. Of course you did. Hmm. Well, anyway, I see your point. And in an ideal world, you're right. There's nothing to worry about. And these are all baseless doubts. I just hope that's the world we live in. Either way, we'll find out soon enough. We must. That we will. Okay, so that's it for her. I'll do. Guess I'm clicking there. You're on a roll, setting records, Alden. You might just be the youngest deserter in the history of the Dalian Adelian army. Oh no! It doesn't sound like a good thing. Right. I'll admit, it hasn't got the best ring to it. Do you think it was the right decision to make? To desert? <sighs> you see, I don't know too much about that kind of stuff. Life's easier that way. Hmm. No, I worry about it sometimes. That's good. Try to hold on to that if you can. People will respect you for it. Huh? You don't care if people respect you? I gave on that pursuit years ago. Right around your age, in fact. Tell me, do they still make first years drink vertigo potions and climb down the side of the clock tower? No. School used to do that? <laughs> not the school, of course not. But it was a sort of tradition. Are you sure? You know, the kind of thing your friends put you up to? Huh? Not my friends. Irvin and Marin put you up to that? Well, no. Other friends. Perhaps you've chosen your friends more wisely than I did. Sounds like it. Alright, there's sport. <laughs> Alright. Helena, hey. How have you been finding everything? Travel suits me. I've made my home on the road ever since I left the monastery. Well, that's great. Glad to hear it. I was more asking about the people, though. I know Garrick, for one, can be a little rough around the edges with pious folk. I think they make him insecure. He has not yet spoken to me. <sighs> ah, yeah. Sorry about that. Sounds like I should prefer it. I mean, he's pretty harmless for the most part. Just a bit of a rascal. Reverend is not a word I'd ever use for him. I had a brother who was this way. I bet that drove you crazy. <laughs> Actually, he was my favorite. Huh? Really? Were you too close? No. Not at all. Oh. Sorry to hear that. It must have been hard on your family when you left for the monastery. I wonder. I don't think it was. In a way, they encouraged it. Well, then I guess at least they were supportive. I'd sooner call Garrick Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I'm getting the picture. Hmm. Well, listen. Hopefully this can be a new chapter for you. We've practically got no choice but to support each other just to make it through to tomorrow. There's ever anything I can do to make you feel more at home. Uh, maybe not at home, but you know what I mean. You just let me know. Thank you, Marin. That's a generous offer. <laughs> Please, it's nothing. I'm just glad you decided to stick around. Hey, Helena! What you doing over here by yourself? Pray. <sighs> oh, don't people usually go somewhere holy to do that? Terrazel itself can be just as sacred as any temple when properly appreciated. Hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Wait a minute. If the whole world is sacred, what's the point of temples? You may find it difficult to buy candles, incense, and prayer beads from a tree. So they're basically just big glorified shops? No, no Sophia. Temples are built on hollowed ground. They are places of spiritual significance. Uh-huh. Got it! So all of Terra is holy, but some parts of it are extra holy, and when you can't go to the extra holy parts, nature will do. That's right. Sufficiently summarized. <laughs> Neat! I love learning about this stuff. I've always been a spiritual person, I think, without even realizing it. Things have always just kind of happened in my life, and it always worked out for the better. Even the bad stuff, like getting caught by those bandits. That led me and Sloan to you guys. There's got to be a reason for that. Yeah. You are fortunate to feel this way about your life. There are many people of great faith who do not... <coughs> Sorry. There are many people of great faith who do not feel the same. Huh? Oh, that's surprising. But gratitude is a worthy cause for prayer. 
Offer it to the gods when you feel it wash over you. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Hey, Bianca, can I tell you something funny? Ugh. I could use a good laugh. When Sloan and I were stuck in that cell, and you guys came to rescue us, the first person I saw was Garrett. <laughs> really? I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> They're not getting along these days? Not even. Nah, I just like giving him a hard time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got it. Well, anyways, when he came into the room, I thought he was one of the bandits. thought maybe the group that captured us was moving to a new camp. <laughs> that is funny. I'll have to tell him that. Can I tell him that? Don't you think he'll get mad? No, but if he did, that would be even funnier, honestly. Um... I don't want to cause any problems. You won't. Don't worry. Alright, go ahead then. Who'd have thunk? That's great. When did you figure out he wasn't a bandit? When you and Lincoln came in, actually. You two looked like you were ready to lay down the law. Yep. I think that's the look he's going for. Well, he definitely lives up to it. He really does. Alright, I think that's all of it. Only level 14. You did some battling. Okay, inventory. Convoy. Alright, internal aspects. Oh lord. Let's take I'm let's quickly look over through this and I'll try to remember to cut out the next bit where I'm just going through the inventory. Alright. So counterattack damage increased by 25%. Grants 80% resistance to arcane magic. Bat! Where are you, Irving? Alright, so... Bat, oh, that's probably gonna go there. Uh, each turn grants a 1% buff to advance stats. Enemies are much more likely to attack the holder. Uh, swap strength and speed. Hmm. Let's see here. Dodge increased by 30% of strength. Ooh. Uh, power increased by 15% of each weapon stat. Ooh. Swaps power and true speed. What? How's that different than swaps strength and speed? I don't know. But you are getting resistance to arcane. Um, Alright, I'm gonna quickly go through these things. chance by 1% of the rest of the world.
to get started on this, I did want to say I did find I have one stat changer that increases magic by two. Maybe said it may not have, but I don't know which of my magicians I should give it to. If you have any recommendations, make sure to put it in the comment section below. The party arrives at the Temple of Fame, only to find it under assault. The Temple's priestess, Vesta, accepts their help in cleansing the Temple. After fighting off the attackers, Vesta nearly collapses from exhaustion. The following morning, they observe a massive Armorian force headed toward Delia. Vesta tells them that she is a member of the Order of Eternals, an ancient organization dedicated to protecting the Aspects. She is traveling to Varroa to meet with the masters of her order. In possession of many Aspects, she fears for their safety. She suggests that the party come with her. The war Intermediate and their more intimate knowledge of the Necromancer's methods and doings would help the Order determine a course of action. Though it leans heavily on their hearts, leaving the war and their nations behind is the right thing to do. They leave to follow the army north and find a captain in Swift Harbor. In doing so, they stumble across a massive battle. Oh crud, we're going to be enemies of everybody. Gods below! Wow! What is that? I wish I could tell you. The light! Is it some kind of weapon? We had a weapon that powerful locked up in a Delian armory somewhere. I'd know about it. 
No. It must be Aramori. Could it be? Something the mages conjured up? Impossible. Funko could never have kept it secret. So then, which is it? Delian or Aramorin? Hmm. Doesn't matter. Vesta, have you ever encountered anything this powerful before? Not outside of a book. Wait, look! In the center! That's not a weapon, it's a person! No way! If that's a person, then I'm a potato! Uh. That rules out less than you think. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has to be stopped. Have you lost your mind? We best steer clear of that thing. We can still make a swift harbor if we... Look where we are. Caught again between Armor and Delia, and up against something aligned to both and... Oh, sorry. And up against something alien to both and more powerful than either. Irving raises a fair point. I'd say there's a slim chance this magic has nothing to do with our necromancer. No better playground than a battlefield for someone like that. Two arms! Who would we be if we ran? What if we learned that our Morans and Delians alike were wiped out by an army of undead? We'd have to oh, we'd have to stop this. I doubt we'd be able to waltz right in. The war horns have sounded. The battle has already begun. You're not getting in there without a fight. Then a fight it is. When you're ready, follow me. I realize what I'm asking of each of you. I won't force you to come with me, but I cannot stand idly by as a witness to a slaughter. Samara and I, we will come with you. Only, we fear for our people. And what of our people? We will not strike a single soldier who does not stand in our way. You have my word. All right. Nassar and I are with you. Can do. As are Lincoln and I. Works for me. No doubt. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, all right. Us too. <laughs> Stop with the barking. Stop it. Benji's always up for a fight. I guess. Sure, why not? Well, what do you know? What do you give me that look for? Of course we're with you. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without us. Well, it seems you have your companion support. Lead on, Irving. I fear we may already be too late. Hmm. So, we're going to have to traverse across the map to take them out. Okay, let's choose the units. Let's get rid of our top ones. They go all the way to the bottom. There we go. So, that way we... I, I do not want to have a people who are extremely weak, and it's going to make things a little bit harder, because we are, wait a minute, Irving, are you, you're not part of this? Okay, don't know why it shows you as being out, but anyways, gave her the one that increases the dodge by strength. So she's got decent strength. Maybe, or do you think I should give someone else that dodge? Someone who doesn't have a huge, probably a huge defense. This guy has got massive strength and already huge dodge. So maybe him. Or, you know, somebody. You guys let me know. Alright, let's see Matt Pratt. Reach the sorcerer. There's a sorcerer standing Miss the battlefield preparing a massive spell. Reach him to stop it. Uh, Empyrean. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Delian. Delian. Oh. What's with all these magicians all over the place? Okay. I don't see Irving at all. Here's our Armarian. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if they start taking each other out, which I kind of hope they do. Okay. Oh, what is this guy? Sniper. Okay, so... Yeah, Brook, you're going to be up front. Lincoln, not good to have you up front. And then... Southern will go that way. So you'll go this way against the Delians, and you'll be against your own people there. I guess this is fine. Actually, let's have Marin switch here. You can switch here. You can go this way. Marin, you can go this way. That's 
That still leaves us three. That has three healers. Okay. All right. Wait, why does it show that? Look, everyone else is at full health. But for some reason, he's starting off with minus 21 health. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. Alright. Grants 80% resistance, yes. Natural leader. Power increased by 9% for each adjacent ally. HP increase by 35%. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, anyways. Let us start, and we'll see how it goes. This guy looks like he'll be tough. I can't go all the way to him, but I can go here. Oh yeah, look at that. This guy. That's the best. Darn it, if I had attacked with her first. Oh well, would it fit a shit out? Maybe I should raise my rates. Please tell me you're already too expensive. Oh, that leaves with Alden getting the kill. This should be fun. I'd be honored. On that way, and it's you can go this way. Attack him, 100% hit. Can't talk to the results. Oh, that did lots of damage. Usually he's so good at just taking a hit. Oh, these guys are dishing out damage right now. Oh, oh phew. That's okay, that's okay. Oh man, yeah, look at that. I'm gonna have to wipe these people out quickly. Are they all going to just come straight at me? All right, I'm going to have to play a little bit safer, I think. Attack you. Let's see, what's the best I can do? 15. Ooh, 25 times 2. Okay, let's double check. You're level 16, you're level 16. In position. Right, that's fine. That's fine, then. 
25 times 2, 100% chance. And they've only got about 50% chance of hitting. Ooh, still hit. You aren't worth the ink. <laughs> you aren't worth the ink. Two crits in a row. Jeez, didn't need it, but I'll take it. Okay. So you just go there. Attack him. I'm weak against that, but look at that. Might as well. Okay. So it says you would do well against this guy. Let's take a look. Oh, he'd do lots of damage, though. So. Get in here and heal her. That doesn't change, okay. Alright, so this should you be fun. Rush over here. Attack. 32, 24. Let's do that one. Would and hate to be you right now. Yes. <laughs> Was not expecting death, but that works out just fine for me. If you insist. Okay, yeah, I gotta make sure you can't get hit again. Uh, you will be able to get a little extra damage. Yeah, let's do this one. It's easier if you hold still. Oh crud, that's death. <laughs> How did you do that? Okay, Samara, so you're also a healer, so you can. Let's do it. 
go. And now you can just show up there to it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You are going to go here to attack, so that way they can't hit back. 15, 25. Right now, it's really at the point where there's so much damage being dished out. You have to be careful, otherwise you will lose your people quickly. And you're seeing right here, the enemy is losing their people really fast. Kind of worried about that. This might actually be best. So if you attack, oh, he'll do lots of damage. Okay, what if I have Benji come in? Yeah. To attack him. It's 33. I'll do that. Now, I'm thinking this through. He will attack. Oh, he dodged. Oh, even better. Now, Lincoln, you'll come up here and heal him. Oh, I hope this works. Need damage. Oh. Not good. Oh, phew. You throw the hammer. How can you not hit? Shit. 27 times 2? Come on! I was loyal to oh, the last. Oh, come on! Legends never die. Attendance, strength reduced by 2. That's not good. Yeah, I messed up a little bit of this. Okay, so. You can come over here. Come over here and attack this guy. Six, it doesn't go right away. 100% chance. You're just really? another cur! Yeah, you can click as so you can see where they'll be able to go. 
If you insist. There. And Samara can get here and heal. Whenever you need me. Okay. In position. So if I go in for the kill. into place and look at your magic see that's why we didn't kill him what do you have A tier two token okay you tier one token really you corn on the cob Oh, Barret's Fury, too. Attack. Let's take a look. Let's take this, too. Uh. 27. Let's do that. That way he doesn't get to attack back. Probably we're going to want to converge in over here. step at a time. Let's see, 19 times 2, 100% chance. You aren't worth the ink! There we go. Best 
percent. It's gonna kill him. Well played. Yeah, gotta worry about XP. So let's see. Uh, I can do that. So if I have you rush up to here. Wait, wait. Crud, I do not like this spot with all these archers. Can rush up to there. You can rush up to there. Okay, yeah, so we won't rush in completely. We'll still be attacked. There won't be by as many people. Thought you'd never ask. was not expecting to lose two guys in one turn. I was probably a little too aggressive there. And see, that's part of it. They are very good Sharp skills at focusing pockets. fire. Which I don't blame them. I'd do the same thing if I, when I had the chance. Ooh. Oh shit, they really coming in. Okay, so this is not going to be the most fun. This is not going to be the most fun at all. Quickly okay. and quietly. So you can do most damage here. 45. Nine. All right, let's do it. Magnificent. Yeah. Okay. You can get into here. Return to the sands! Yes! I think that's dead! <laughs> Can't argue with results. I can work with this. It is willed. Is oh, your reward. Great, really? Still won't kill him. That's nice. Okay. Let's have you attack this guy first. this one it has the lowest chance of him hitting back now you notice I did do come from a spot where he could attack back there was a reason why it was a good reason oh, I swear I've got a lot to learn you are my strongest magician now the reason being is because I don't want too many people being able to attack Brooke as it stands right now, uh, only one person will be able to attack Brooke, which is good. That's what I want. So they're probably all going to gain up on somebody else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heal. You 
go over here to attack this guy. 20%. Not 20%. 20 hit at 100%. Was that really necessary? Was that necessary? Yes! Proudly meeting expectations. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Really? Let's do this. Send Samara over here to help healing soon. Actually, uh, you won't be able to get over. Okay. I'm on it. It's fine. So you can still go to there. Oh, you are. Oh, that is not good for you. That is not good for you at all. So when you get here, no matter what, they're going to be able to attack. This one, they do the least amount of damage. Okay. Why don't you come right here? Items. Let's do the third. Sheesh, I'm using more items this round than I have at all. I knew they were going to go after Brooke first. Alright, they're going after Samara. Smart, she's a healer. Oh, look at that damage Marin's going to do. Buddy, I think you messed up. You oh, forced you my really... hand. Oh, super messed up, buddy. This, but it's useless if when I do this it covers it up. Can do. Two hundred percent chance to hit. Okay. Yeah, all these guys are a bit higher up level than my guys. Which is good. You don't want things too easy. This is the guy I'm worried about. Uh. Brooke, why don't you come in for that first attack? Four times two. It's the best one. It's oh. all in the execution. Oh, you are dead. <laughs> Magnificent. On the top. Good. Okay. You are going to heal her. You're going to rush up over here. Only six times two. Too easy. Oh, crud. Okay. All right. That's fine. Yep, you go there so you can start healing some of these guys. We're still going to have to deal with these guys. I don't care if it takes a couple extra turns. As you've seen, we're just, we need to get XP up. damage either. Seven. Sheesh, my guy. These guys, why are they so beefy? 
Very well. Alright, alright. We'll attack with you. Most damage I can do is seven. That seemed like it was a little bit more than seven. Guaranteed hit. What? How'd you get a second one? Oh, all right. I won't complain there. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Okay. Now some damage. These guys, for some reason, they are so tanky, and they can't dish out a hit, which is good at times. But when you're on your own, that's not a good time to be like that. Ho oh, oh. ho! Okay, that's fine. Oh, because the other guy was taken out! Okay. Let's have you attack this guy. 19 times 2. I'm actually impressed that it hit both times. I just need to be able to do 9 damage. 66 is the best. Good. Whoa. I am here. So if you go here for this... Wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay, you guys need to fall back. I need to fall back here because there's no way you two are going to be able to take on all them if they're able to start to surround you. Guys, just need some healing. Interesting. Mm. Okay, let's go there. Eventually. Oh, that was a crit. Let's 
So, oh, he was able to go through there. Okay. Quickly and quietly. I attack you. That's the best, but that's not good enough. Oh crap! Too no. easy. I didn't mean to do it like that, but it still worked out in the end. If you insist. Rush over here. How can I help? Just there. My turn. I'm on it. At your disposal. Uh, you rush there to heal. Looking good. All right. And you'll move to heal to heal her. Whenever you need me. Because you're still in danger. I'm just gonna do this. This. I hope I don't regret this. I probably am. Just knowing me. Oh, so many. So many spots where it's like, oh crud. Alright, alright. Lots of damage. Yeah, lots of damage, but I'm probably gonna kill him. Alright. You don't need to watch all of them all the time. I can be better than this. Yes, you can, Sara. Shame. Oh, you're going after her? Oh, man. Alright. That's good, that's good. Oh, just a few more to go. Oh, I can... If I rush you up here, oh wait. You'll be able to be attacked. You're also one of my best guys. Yeah, let's not. Attack you. Ooh, 22, 100% chance. Oh, my hero! Proudly meeting expectations. Good. Somebody has to meet expectations around here. 16. It's 16. Yeah, I'm fine with that hit because we know I'm going to be able to kill. Okay. Quickly and quietly. Let's have Brooke rush in for this kill. Just to open you won't up be missed. Uh, the pathway to be able to get the guy behind it. Good to have around. 
sharp skills, full pockets. Okay. Now you rush in to attack him. 19. Okay. Fourteen times two. Let's do that one. It's a shame. Oh, yeah. You're so cute. Yes, we got it. Sloan. Good. One more for the good guys. Okay, all right. Lead the way. Let's get you over here to heal. Okay. I'm on it. Over in a way so they can't fight in the back at least. Keep an eye on that guy as well. Alright, you can heal for a few turns. I'm here. Oh, alright. My turn! So you can rush all the way up. Samara can heal you. Thought you'd never ask. Better chances. Let's do the fifteen. damage, but if they all attack, I'll be in trouble. Oh, 25. Oh, don't knock out Elias again. Damn it, no! So this is my fate. Granted, I know I'm not the best at this sort of thing, so there's no way I'd be able to go through this whole thing without, you know, getting some injuries. That's seven, that's If five. you insist. Yeah. How can I help? Heal. My hard work is paying off. And it is. Okay, let's take a quick look at what I'd be able to do. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, so I won't go there though. I will go here to lure him out. Alright. It's a perfect plan. Nothing can go wrong with this plan. Action. My turn! Let's see. 
Yeah, that should be enough over there. Uh -oh. I am here. Where's my best chance of hitting? 44. Not gonna hit. I knew it. I knew it. That was a crit. That was not a good crit. Take out one of these guys. This is a 65% chance. Okay. Damn, I'm good. Yes, you are, Bianca. All right, you go in. 19 times two. 22 times two. 22 times two. Let's do it. Low chance for a crit, but that's fine. Oh, he dodged. Yes! Just what I needed! Okay, okay. Diligence oh boy. is its own reward. Uh, Are you sure? Yes. You're gonna go here. 100% chance. Okay, let's see if they take the bait. Damage and a dodge. Ha ha! Oh, took the bait. Hook, line, and sinker. I should have had her do the finishing blow. That's on me. But I still got you. Yep, let's try it. No. Oh. That's fine, that's fine. 19, 18, 18, 19, okay. Would hate to be Great you right now. Is a hit. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen a crit fail. Never. Let's All do right. it. Now you haven't moved, so might as well do this one. Okay. Wish I could do that. Okay. So you are already weakened. You're down to 17. You are not weakened. So I sent you up here. 12 times 2. No, 19 times 2. Ooh. 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay, if you come in for this one. Oh, yeah. Marin doesn't get to kill people often enough. If you insist. You're gonna rush in for this one, because you that's the first damage. Yep. It's 19. The second one should not do as much damage. Yep, 14. Knew it. Alright. Six times two, 
think that's the best I got. Hey, most more people get XP. I'm still mad that uh, I lost two guys. A little too aggressive at one spot. All right. Yeah, you have to know when to be a little less aggressive. But you can see afterwards, I was very good this at isn't pulling good the enemy towards me, so then I could swing in and shame on you. In position. Okay. This is a long episode. Somebody reach it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have someone with haste? All yours. Am I needed? Okay, okay. Uh, let's have you go here. Phase you. Yes. This will be quick. Quickly and, and quietly. You can make it there. So we have arrived. Better have. Push. Be swift. That was enough to get her level up. Is the shadow cast. Oh. Uh. Let me go to you. Cast haze. Chop chop. You're gonna go. Wait, can I cast haste on you as well? Then like the wind. Ho oh, ho! I can't. Couldn't have done it without you, Butter. Let's do it. That in have fun. That was you. Oh wait, I was supposed to hit a ride. Oh, I feel stupid now. Okay, well before we do any of that, then we heal up. Get Stay that with last me. Bit of XP. Why did I not hit the arrive? Careful, I don't accidentally hit the wrong buttons. Okay, for a second I was like, oh, credit. I hope I helped. I hope, I thought it froze for a second, okay. Not much gold acquired, but we took our time in that. We could have done a lot quicker. Irving, what are you doing here? <laughs> Whatever that thing is, it's killing people on both sides of this fight. We came to stop it. Hmm. Well, then at least for now, I can call you my ally. Sterling. Sterling. No. We don't have time. I trust you, but I made an oath. Let's just enjoy that we get to fight together at least this once. Right. Let's do this. That did not sound good. Impressive. You survived the blast. So bold. I wonder. Will all that strength carry you when you're alone? <laughs> Sterling! Little brother. Gods, you're bleeding. It's gonna be all right. I need a cleric. Marin, Lincoln. Huh? What's happened? Oh, gods, Sterling. Please, let me see what I can do. You, you did it. You stopped him. I tried, but I was too far. Too late. Pace yourself. Save your strength, brother. I just I'm proud of what you did, of who you're becoming. I know, I know. Marin, can we stem the bleeding? I, Lincoln, maybe if we try together? Hmm. Father, and Varroa, go and see him. You must tell them everything. I will. I promise. Wait, wait, isn't that where we're going? What are, what are the odds of that? You don't have to promise. I know you will. I've, I've never seen wounds like this. This magic. The life seems to be just draining from him. Friends. Lincoln, you and Bianca, I'd better not be seeing you soon. Look after him. Damn it. I can't fail. No, not now. No, 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 no. There's has to be someone who can help. Cleric, help! Anyone! It's alright. Fear does not belong in your voice, brother. It's alright. I lived my life on the battlefield. This was the end I asked for. 
only wish I... What? You only wish what, Sterling? Oh, no, no, gods, no, Sterling. Stay with me! Irving, are you alright? Irving! Holy crud! <laughs> oh, man, that was... That's an ending. Eye of the Storm. I do not believe that's the end of this battle. Guys, what do you... Thing. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this content, make sure you leave a like, a rumble, a fiery thing, or something to let myself and others know this content is enjoyed. Make sure to leave comments in the comment section. Oh, I already said that. And last but not least, if you want to stay up to date on all the Dark Deity or whatever else I might be playing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe.